to be a winning trader, the most important thing is actually understanding the chart. So when I talk about understanding the chart, I'm not just talking about having a clear strategy, doing analytics and placing order. I'm talking of understanding the overall market movement so that when you place an order, you know that, okay, this order I place, if not of any news or something, then this order should be a profitable one. So when it comes over to trading, many beginners, they find themselves losing out on trade repeatedly, but then they can't really tell why they often lose out in this sort of trade. And this is what I'm going to share with you in today's video. So most beginners, when they get started with forest trading, when they learn a strategy, they go straight to the market and then implement this, this strategy on the smallest portion of the market and think that is the right thing to do. Well, that is totally wrong. When it comes over to trading, and for it to be a profitable trade, the most important thing is actually understanding the whole overview of the market and they're getting to understand that mini portion of your place before even considering the strategy you learned. So for example, I'm trading a market and then I'm using ascending triangle. Doesn't mean that the moment I spot an ascending triangle or a descending triangle, I'm going to place an order immediately. No. The first and most important thing is to understand the market reaction at that point before I get into the market. And that's what I'm going to break down for you in today's video. So hello guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to Perez Trade. On this channel, I mainly focus on how you and I can make money from online through trading, cryptocurrency, forex, and stocks. So if you find this channel helpful and need more great videos like this, the only thing that will motivate me to create more of it is by smashing on that subscribe button and then turn on this bell notification. So with that already said, let's get straight on my computer. Let me share with you a step-by-step -step guide on how you can read and understand chart and know the right time to place an order and the wrong time to do so. So hello guys, now we are on my computer and I'm going to share with you the most key thing you should do before even using any sort of entry pattern to trigger any sort of entry in the market. So here now, the first thing you do is pick out that particular pair you want to analyze. And currently, you can see that I'm on the GBP USD, which is Great uh, Britain Pounds and the US Dollar. And if you take a look at this market right now, what is the market saying? What the market saying doesn't matter at this point. The most important thing at this point is your time frame. So first of all, come over here and pick your time frame. And you can see that currently I'm using the one day time frame. So after picking out your time frame, in case you don't know which of the best time frame to trade, depend on the kind of trade you want to execute. You can watch the video that will be tagged in the description. That video will take you through every single thing you need to know about the right time frame to trade, depend on the kind of trader you are. So now after picking out my time frame, then one thing I do is that I drag the whole market together. You can see that I can see I currently have this whole market together. And when I'm dragging it, here's one thing I do. I make sure that the part I'm dragging actually closes the full screen that is available. You can see that. I'll, so I'll be watching it from this point here. Let me get my drawing to. I'll be watching it from this point here up to this point, up to the current market movement, which is this point here at the price chart here. So this is the part I'll be watching in the market to do my analytics. The reason why this is actually important because the movement that you see on your full screen like this is likely to repeat itself one more or two to three times more before actually making a final decision to get a new pattern. That's what is also known as change of structure and all of that. So now after getting it like this, now what thing I do is that I get my highest point here. So I mark my highest point. I don't play with this point. The reason why I get all of this point ready is because they are the most key part when it comes to trading. Without knowing these points, you are actually going to take a lot of trade that might end up losing. So now after taking this place as my highest point, the next thing I'll do is that I'll look at another place where I can actually really consider as a good point again. And then the next one is this level here. Take a look at this level here. The reason why I'm considering this level is that, let's take a look at it here. One, two, and then it tends to a resistance area. I mean, it tend to a support area shortly and then now you can see that the market is about to come back to that area again so this uh multiple touches around this area makes this one valid so i'm also going to get down out and then after getting this one out the next thing i'll do is that now i'll be looking at my lowest points in the market which is my support areas also known as your supply areas so for that i'll take this point here let me zoom out so what i'll do here is that i'll zoom out to see if these places are weak or main candles so here are main candles so i'm just going to place it under here i don't actually consider the weeks when i'm doing my analytics because i see it as a a broker advantage to get you out of the market in case you don't know your way around it so now you can see that i've also gotten my uh, lowest area now the next thing i'll do is that i'll get another low area again and for that i'll consider this point here you can see it's under great low area again so now you can see that i've gotten four areas in the market lowest lowest high highest so you can see I've gotten this four area. 
So now once I get this for area like this, now this is the key part of the market. Now you need to look at the overall direction that I reacted from these areas to the next area. So for that, let's come over to the four hour time frame. And then let me just reset, reset my chart. So after this, I'm going to drag the market together. So I'm still going to bring it together again. Okay, so now on the four hours time frame, for example, I'm a day trader. So here I'll boil down to the four hour time frame to make my final decisions. So now if you should look at this market on the four hour time frame now, also filling the screen, also filling the screen. This way I'm going to make my final decision. So here is the importance of the lines we drew on the higher time frame. The reason why we drew these lines on the higher time frame is because it gives us room to trade and gives us the right places to enter the market. So for example, with this one here, if we are looking forward to enter market at any of these points, is either we are selling from here to this point, which is this uh, point here, or we are looking forward to buy from this point to this other point here. So now, after getting this point, you know that, okay, this is the places where I need to trade from. This is the place I need to enter from, and these are the places I don't have to enter from. Because you've gotten the overall, over, overall market view on the higher time frame. So now the next thing is that you draw your market directions. So the first thing is let's come back a bit again. Now let's consider this market direction from the screen feed. As I said, always focus on the screen feed. So if I was a day trader, I would have used the daily time frame to draw my skin field, which is the market direction and the rest. So since I'm a day trader, I will use the 4-hour time frame to draw it because I want to trade on the 4 hours time frame. So for that, the first thing is I'll draw from this point here. I'll get from here. Let me get it out a bit. Okay. So from here now, I'll draw it like this. This top to this area here. I know that there was a downtrend here. And then the market broke above, came back, and then moved up again. So now after knowing this, the next thing is that you also draw to the opposite direction, which is from this point here also to the opposite direction. And this one, this is the point here. So now what do you see in this market? So let me get it straight out here. This is the point here. The reason why I use this place here as a point is that this is the area whereby it broke below it. So this is not a trend line. This is actually a line to help indicate the comparing the previous market movement to the current movement of the market. And if you should look at it now, that's exactly what is here. So now let me reset my, my chart to focus on those area. Now let me come over to the daily time frame again so that you understand these areas perfectly. Reset. So now you see, this one was a downtrend and then the market went out of it, came back before finally moving upward. And then now, after doing that, it created an uptrend. Now you can see that it has also broken below this uh, uptrend. Now it's set to come for a downtrend again. So what are you looking for to trade this market? So now what you are looking for is that since this market created this pattern here, it created uh, this cheeky part in here which went like this and came back here before finally moving upward then you know that okay this sort of movement is likely to happen here it's likely to happen here so you don't rush to place any sort of orders in this market and but then you also wait to see if it will repeat this sort of pattern again because it's likely to repeat it again so you are waiting to see if it will come probably here and then come back here to this uh, line area before coming below and if you can see clearly that the point whereby i did my reverse i already have an alarm there so an alert here or an alarm so whenever the market get to this point then i'll be looking forward to place my order until it gets there i'll stay out of the market so now this is simply how you get to reach out and understand you use the higher time frame to look at the market direction draw your chart lines which is your trend lines to indicate the market direction so let me give you a quick recap of what we've done so far the first thing we did was that we look at the market on the higher time frame to know the key levels of the market and then after identifying the key levels the next thing we did was that we drew the market trend lines which is the direction the market has been moving recently and then after getting those directions now we are trying to consider where to enter the market and how to enter the market and where and where we are trading from and where we are trading to so now i'm just going to screw the whole market together again so now after getting this line, now the next thing you need to look for is that get a point here again. You can see this minor high here. Just draw this high here like this. Now, here is the thing. You can see that this was more like an ascending triangle that broke below. But then if you go over to a lower time frame, this place is another resistance area. Let me give it a blue line. 
so that you know that this top here created another minor resistance area so now that you've understood the whole market direction that okay the market uh, recently came back from a downtrend and went upward and then now the market is trying to ignore this previous resistance area which is at the overall top here and it's trying to create another one below so now in this sort of market you should be looking for two possibilities in this market and for that let me go over to the time frame i used to enter my trade so i'll come over here let me just reset the chart so i use the four hours time frame to enter the market so now on the four hours time frame i know that i have a new resistance point here the reason why i consider this on the four hour time frame is that you can see that as a four hours trader the market came back to retest here retest here retest here retest here and this is a good indication for me that okay the market is avoiding this point however when the market came back to the support area you can see support one two three four and then on the fifth one it broke below the area so i'll be waiting for this market to pull back here then i'll place a sell order this is simply how you look at the market direction to understand the market movement without getting to break down the market in this manner trust me you are still likely to fail a lot in this sort of market and this is what a lot of traders don't actually do so for example someone might be looking at this market and then the moment the market gives a bullish sign here he might be in a rush to actually place a buy order without uh understanding the previous market movement whereby when the market created this sort of shape the last time it actually went on to continue that downwards movement so in this sort of market now this is a gbp usd so you anything you should be looking for in this sort of market should be a sell order the reason why it should be a sell order is that this pattern the market created is a good pattern for you to place a sell order so for example this market from here now if you should trade back here and they give you a sign of rejection below this uh previous uh support area now it was a resistant turn support so in case you don't, this was a resistant turn support so in case the market should break below here then it gives you a good opportunity to sell from here it gives you a good opportunity to sell from here down to your previous key level that you drew down to this point you see it gives you this a lot of a uh, gap here that okay there's a high chance that the market will move in this direction and when you look at the market in this way get to break it down into minor chunk before trading it gives you a better understanding of the market and how to trade the market so unlike when you just jump onto your track your uh chart and then you just draw your pattern using the current market time frame we don't you don't actually do that if you want to be profitable in the market what you actually do in the market is that you look at the higher time frame movement compared to the lower time frame and then when you see similar movement on the lower time frame you know that okay when this thing happens the last time it quickly reverts back to this point again that's this area here you can see that when we got this sort of a shape break over here which is the market breaking the shape yes take a look at it here is the opposite of the current market movements look the market did what it came here it came here came here came here and then broke above it came here from here it broke above came back again and then moved to the upside now if we should come over here again let's also compare that to the current market movement you see that here is the minor resistance here we should be we should become a major resistance in few in few days to come here look at it it went came here came here came here came here and then it broke below so this break below now what does it tell you it tells you that okay the market is likely to create the previous shape he did over here so when it broke above over here it broke above came back for a retest and before going again so this also tells you that okay there's still a high pros possibility of this market also coming back for a retest before moving back downwards again and that's why i can say that my, i have my alert here exactly at the reversal point that i'll be looking forward to enter this market and with this one i can use a very tight stop loss maybe um, just from this point here to this point and they're having this big place as my take profit and this will be four to one ratio which is a very good trade so in this sort of trade if i should be risking a hundred dollar if i should be risking a hundred dollar i should be looking forward to make a four hundred dollar plus profit in this sort of market so this is simply how you get to understand market and read it this doesn't only apply to gbp uh usd it applies to every single market out there don't rush to use this short place to make your analytics because if i wanted to use so now let me just remove all drawings remove all drawings because if i say okay let me use this area alone to actually make my analytics in this market i'll be considering this point here i'll be considering this point here as my support area because it looks clear and then i'll be considering this other point here at my, as my support area as well so what i'll be looking for at this point is what i'll be looking for a possible buy order so at this point here i'll be looking for a possible buy order from here 
this is what i'll be looking for if i should use only this area to do my analytics but then what i'm forgetting is that this place is also a resistant area that even had another huge resistance above it you see so this is the place i'll be considering but then you see that when we went over to the higher time frame, we realized that this place is actually invalid we realized that when we went over to the higher time frame, we realized that this here and this aren't really valid points the only valid point in this area was this point here was this point here that the market has actually broken and this one thing you get when you use a higher time frame for your analytics before making a final decision on the lower time frame so this is simply how you do the market so from here now you know that you have a good position to actually place a sell order in this market instead of looking for a buy opportunities so hope you find this video helpful don't forget to smash that subscribe button and then tell me what to feel down in the comment as in the comment section as well so also do it to join my telegram channel which will be linked down in this video description so that's said. have a nice day bye